Hey YouTube, Mike Coon Hunter. I'm here with my cousin. We got a sauce for you today. The name is Tropical Trade Winds. And it's yeah. um kind of got Blunt a glare sessions. on it. There you go. Um this is his first review and he's not really used to eating something hot, but it ain't got that much hot peppers and he's gonna reach you the ingredients. Habanero peppers, bell peppers, apples, peaches, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, pineapple, fresh onion, fresh garlic, vinegar, coconut milk, orange juice, cloudberry preserves, kosher salt, make sure you get the kosher, cracked black pepper, dried oregano, dried basil, red cayenne powder, water, and lime juice. All right. And um, he's going to open the sauce while I tell you something about it. Um, My buddy of mine, Blunt Sessions, is his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. He was kind enough to send me some sauce to try. He sent me two of them. This is for a later review. This is um, Wild Blackberry Barbecue, but we'll get to that in another review. And he's taking his time with the tape. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. I got a big spoon. He ain't going to do a whole spoon, but he's going to do some. He might get him a second spoon full. Go ahead and fill it on up there. Although it don't don't get it so far in the feet. I don't want it all over the table. Right. Show you. It's always hard to show you all this without it spilling. Like that. Like that. Damn. Yeah, I, just, I just screwed that up. Scoop it up. We'll put you a little more. <laughs> Yeah, we got to make sure we give y'all a fair review now while I'm over here dripping. New tablecloth, by the way. I covered the last one in the pew, if y'all knew that. Yeah, you right. shot up like a... The smell of it? That's how much I got, if you want to see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tastes pretty good, not really hot. I get the flavor of the habaneros. Um... Not too much of the apple or cantaloupe. I tasted the bell pepper. Yeah, you do get a bit of a bell pepper. Like you said, it's not that hot. I do taste the black pepper, though. The black pepper is coming through. Yeah, there's a bunch of it, as you can see in the bottle. <laughs> a bunch of yeah. flakes in there, but that could be the something flakes. Did you get any hint of the lime juice? I kind of tasted the lime a little bit. Not much. Just... I tasted something sweet. Yeah, um, I guess it comes from the apples or peaches, the fruit. Pineapple. I mean, it's overall good sauce. Looks like honey mustard. It does. I, I, I imagine this would be good on like chicken nuggets or french fries. Very wonderful. Good or, sauce. Or a good meat sauce. Let's think like steak, maybe. French fries. You know, <clears throat> I can see it on french fries. So, so yeah. Y'all need to check him out. Watch him. He does good sauce reviews, too. And he makes his own sauces, grows his own peppers. And I'm um, good guy. And I want to say thank you, man, for sending me this sauce. And y'all let me know how y'all like this guy's first review, even though he didn't get that much. I got half of I got more than that on the table right there. I got a Give good a little bit. more of that. All right, that's good. No, I got a half off. Them. There you go. I can just get some of this off the table. <laughs> Since I made a mess. I didn't get none of the coconut milk. Or... I do taste vinegar. It has a, has a good vinegar taste. And you got to like vinegar to really... I mean, I like vinegar, so I could pick up on the vinegar pretty good. He's about to mess, make a mess. No worse than I did, but he's about to make a mess. Just getting a second taste in. <laughs> You know, I kind of got an aftertaste of garlic. It's hard to pick up on all the flavors in there. Um, it's a good sauce. I wish I could have tasted the cantaloupe and peaches and apples and stuff in there, but couldn't really make it out. None ain't like half your bottle, by the way. <laughs> so it must be pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good sauce. So, um. It's a lot easier to do these sauces than it is that dang chocolate scorpion. I showed him the video. It was like, oh, faithful. That was pretty funny. It wasn't funny. It burned. It, it hurts. It hurt like shit. 
the funniest part was when you could hear him pouring the milk and uh, getting the water after the video was pretty much over. Yeah, yeah. He ruined our Halloween bucket. <laughs> it never will be the same. Can't give kids candy in that no more. <laughs> it's going to be too dang hot. Um, I got a good mouth burn. I mean, it ain't over Wyoming. A little on the tongue. And my lips are lit up pretty good. But I think that's what you want in a good sauce. You don't want it to be overpowering, but you don't want it to um, not give you anything at all. Maybe next time just a little calmer on the black pepper. <laughs> Come on now, I like the black pepper. It's it's good, but that's like not a whole jug to a glass. <laughs> so you, I guess you don't like black pepper. Yeah, I like black pepper. I just, <laughs> just don't like a lot of not it. Not in that strong of amounts. So, in my opinion, it's a pretty good sauce. I like it. There's just, um, see, there's about ten flakes in it. I do think it could benefit from being a tad bit sweeter, but I'm not a sauce maker, so I don't know. Um, Yeah, it's got a hint of sweetness, and then, like, right when you get it out of your tongue, it's, like, hot. It has no really sweetness at all. Yeah, it, I, I think it would be a lot better if it was a little sweeter. More like a honey mustard sauce. Yeah, where it would stay sweeter. Because that's what it reminds longer. me of. But, yeah, man. I think you should try to send some of that to T Motor. Let him try it. He's a good guy. He he does sauces, and if you're looking to try to make it better or anything, he might like to tell you more about it than I could. But anyway, I don't know. Over here being crazy. There's the ingredients list. Try to let y'all read that. So yeah, there's that. Now, um, yeah, this review's gone on a little too long for what it was, but overall, good sauce. I give the heat. About a 3 out of 10. Flavor, about a 7 out of 10. Good sauce, over, overall good product. I think it would be better if it was sweet. What do you think? If, it would, if the sweeter would last a little bit longer. Because it's like you just get a taste of sweetness and then it's just hot and you don't really taste nothing. But what, On a heat scale, what, what is it? 1 to 10. 3. Flavor? 4. Alright. Well, there you have it. His first review, my 100-something review. So, all right, y'all rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. We'll talk to y'all later.